Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel because I've posted before and I don't know if you guys come back or whatever, but I posted and that's my do. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I get started, I'm sorry if you guys hear like birds squinking and sorry for the mess and sorry for the echo. 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 Yes, because I have no microphone today. So there's a lot of sorries, but no regrets. Anywho, for today's video, we're going to cover up three topics which one of them is not actually important, but I just want to do an unboxing. <laughs> I got a package for my molds, and I want to show you guys mostly what you guys maybe are getting or what packaging or, I don't know, whatever. I just want to unbox with you guys something and have that connection. So yeah, topic number one is going to be tips for molds. Tips on what molds to get, the quality, and all that jazz. You, you got to stay tuned. Man. Topic number two is going to be about the shops I want to recommend to you guys because it can sometimes be a little hassling or really crazy on where to get molds, especially ones that you don't know if you should get it from there because it's not gonna be the quality you want. You're gonna end up wasting money on something else and you wanna be sure you wanna go straight forward into something you actually like and it's gonna work for you when you're working with resin. Now let's get started on topic number one. Topic number one is about molds and tips with molds because you don't wanna waste your money when you're buying different types of molds. There is actually different types of molds and I was very confused when I started, so. Let me help you out. For molds, you're gonna find mostly that they're either made of plastic or silicone. Plastic molds tend to actually break easily. They don't tend to wear a lot. They're actually very cheaper to get, so that's, that's a plus sign. They're just horrible to actually work with because either they're gonna get stuck, the casting you're doing is gonna get stuck in it, or the mold's gonna break or waste your money. Now, on the other hand, you have silicone mold, which silicone molds, Beautiful, beautiful molds. They help a lot when it comes to making tons of castings, wearing a lot, uh, shininess, and all that jazz. I always recommend silicone molds because silicone molds are the easiest to work with and the ones that hold the most when it comes to actually pouring something and just getting it out. Now, for example. Now, for example, I have this mold. This mold, it's a little broken down on the sides and edges, but that's because I tend to be a little rough when it comes to torching or just ripping the thing out. But trust me guys, how many earrings have I gotten out of this? Over 20. And it's still shiny on the inside. And I only have one. I literally only have one and a lot of earrings have come out of it. And it's just amazing when it comes to silicone. Plastic will just make me break out. So I don't recommend it. Tip number two when it comes to silicone molds or the mold region, um, I always recommend that you get a silicone mold that has a shiny interior because having a shiny interior will only mean that you're gonna get a shiny piece when the piece starts to become more dull you're gonna get a dull piece for example let me get it because i didn't come prepared so i'll be right back <laughs> and i'm back really quickly now for example this mold as you guys can see it's not really very shiny it's a little bit shiny but it's just gonna come out duller and this mold is actually much shinier oh my god i can't get reflections uh, uh, wow. You see that? You see that? You see the difference in shining? See that difference? It's gonna make a big impact at the end of the day. And tip number three, take care of your molds regularly. By that I mean, you gotta treat it as your child. You don't wanna bend them. You don't wanna do a lot of things that just gonna come out and abrasive it. You don't wanna use sharp things. You don't wanna do a lot of things because a lot of things that you do inside of the mold, maybe if you, you scrape it, every time you get a casting out of it, it's gonna have that little scrape that you just did. So. Little mistakes have long-term consequences, so make sure you don't do that. Oh, don't wiggle it like I am. Unless you want to wiggle it, I don't know. Maybe that does something. Maybe I'll do a video in something in the future about how to take care of your silicone molds so they can last you quite longer or any tips and advice. But right now, let's just keep it subtle. And if this video you guys want something else, comment down below. Now, for part two of this video, I know you guys are probably very in a hurry, like, dude. Spit it out. I actually want to know where to get them. I have written down because I'm not a very technical. Oh my god. We should collab, you guys. Stay tuned. Okay, I have written down the people. This is my idea book. No, my, not my idea book, but like mostly it has calculations on how much I need to get out on conversions. When it's 1 1 and it's a way, it, 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 it's a lot of things, you know? Um, but. That's how much I work. Now, this is a list of people that I recommend that have tried their molds or have looked for their molds and actually have great reviews or just straight up great quality. Quality is the key with silicone molds. The ones that have actually very excellent quality, I say amazing quality, 
I'm not gonna say which one is the shop I got. You gotta check them all out so you guys can support these artists that are on a day-to-day -day basis making molds for wrestling artists like us. Before I get started, yes, I look like trash. Thank you for asking, an honor. Now, these are my favorite shops. And the light just went out. What the f <laughs> Okay, you guys just saw me seeing the light just go out. What the heck? I'm, I'm leaving that in. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is, my favorite shops are from Etsy. If you want to purchase from them, you got to go directly into their shops where I'm going to leave a little image of each of each of one of them so you might find them on Etsy. I'm going to leave a link down below so you may find them as well. So it's easier for you guys to navigate through. And other than that, I'm gonna leave it to like past carving to continue on what he's talking. And that's pretty much it. So subscribe, you know, if you guys want more. I, I mean, if you guys subscribe, it gives me like a chance of me knowing if you guys like the content or whatever. Um, yeah, carving just start, I guess. For starters, I recommend Kawaii Co Finds. But if you, got, if you like figures or cute things, they have it. They literally have it. Or if you like any type of anime stuff, I, I saw an Animal Crossing thing once. That would make beautiful earrings or whatever you want to do with it, whatever you want to find. Shop number two I recommend is Mirror Image Molds. They're from Gold Coast, Australia. Hello, my friends from Australia. If you have any, any watch or any viewers. I'm sorry for the accents if you find it offensive. I'm sorry. Okay. Mirror Image Molds mainly has a lot of different variety of molds that you can actually find. I think they have coasters. They have little ones for studs and everything. Just check them out to see. Make Me Mold Me. This is actually a very popular mold maker in the United Kingdom region. They make a lot of, I don't know, weird shapes, I'd say. They're not weird, they're just organically made or something. Yeah, they have amazing molds for earrings, for necklaces, maybe studs. A lot of things you guys can find for jewelry. Mainly, I see they have a lot of things for jewelry. So if you're into that, most part, Check made me mold me, amazing molds, amazing quality. And I've actually read the reviews just to make sure all of them are really good. And I have nothing else to say other than maybe one day I'll buy from them. So make me mold me, there's a shout out for you, a lot of hearts and success in the future. Now, next one is House of Molds. They're from Italy. I love Italy. Now House of Mold, I see that I have a lot of mold for necklaces or body types and stuff. I purchased from them actually a piece that's for a necklace that's like, I don't know if I drew that out well. It's very well, it's very clear, it has like excellent quality. It's amazing. I totally recommend it, really cool. Next up, it's Family Molds. They're from Haroslov, Russia. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, they're from Haro Russia. Family Molds has a large variety of molds. I would say you want coaster molds, you want a neck molds, you want ring molds, you can get it from them. They have truly everything you can find. They have like crystal ones. What else do they have? I've actually tested out a lot of the molds. Amazing quality, long lasting, just truly spectacular. I think I have one of them in the back. This is one of their molds, it's amazing for a necklace. I've actually made a necklace out of this. I don't want to go get it, it's in the back, and it's amazing, it has great quality, and something I really noticed about this shop, look at this detail. And this mold, other mold that I have, I have from them don't have it, but this one has familymolds.com, which is so cool, like how, however they did that, I love it. Next up, and finally, but not less importantly, is Resin Queen Shop, but mostly I have seen from them, they have amazing large molds for keychains a lot of big molds actually just gotta check that out and they sell a large variety when it comes to caricaturas and that's our doodles or maybe ghost and everything they have a lot of them i have one that is like a keychain type that it's a little ghost not a ghost it's a bat oh my god bro i broke it but it lasted me a really long time that's an important factor and i had to throw it away because i broke it. but you know what i loved it and I totally recommend their shops. Now, with all that being said, those are all my top molds that I found. You can find them all on Etsy and in the links in the descriptions. Make sure you check them out, all of them, so you can see their large variety of molds and their different, different differentials and see what you like and maybe get one or two or none. These are my top tiers for molds. You don't have to buy from them. Well, if you want to just do so, but they may tend to be more expensive than a regular kitchen mold, let's say, or a plastic mold. Um, maybe some mold may range from $2 to $60 and $2 can be like a dime size and $60 can be 
a big one for Trey, let's say. Um, it's about quality and it's about how long it's gonna last you and what you're getting for what you're paying. And I totally recommend them. Another tip if you wanna, if you wanna start but you don't wanna waste a lot of money, you can totally buy kitchen mold. Kitchen molds with like a clear interior. Let's say you have a cupcake one that has a glossy inside. You can totally use that and start from there on out. I started from a little mold that was for, I believe it was for, I don't know what it was for actually. It was silicone, but it wasn't for resin. It was for something else and it works phenomenally. Just, you gotta work with what you have sometimes because you don't always start out having everything. Sometimes you gotta take big baby steps. So you can actually climb up and get what you want. Now for the last part of the video in unboxing because Hello again from Future Carbon. There's nothing in the cup. I just want to look sophisticated enough to actually be saying something interesting. But I hated it editing that part of the video. Unboxings are so boring. They're just me just ripping it out, just showing you guys. I like them sometimes when they're like something to waste money on. Like let's say, is that a freaking $10,000 computer that I'm sure I'm not gonna buy ever in my entire life, but that guy has it and he's unboxing it. I wanna see that, why not? But it's molds, it's actually very boring. They're just the molds, the ones you saw, I show you with a clear thingy and whatever, surrounded by bubble wrap. Wow. wow. That's pretty much it. You know what, here's a clip. Yeah, that's it, that's really much it. But don't leave yet, don't leave yet. I want to show you guys something. I have my own little resin jewelry brand because I don't have a resin brand, because I don't make resin, but yeah. It's a lot of things. Check it out, go follow it. Follow me if you guys want to. I'm not very active on social media, but you know what? A following doesn't hurt if you think I'm entertaining. I post a lot of my stories though. Yeah, it's really stupid. Anyways, thank you all again for watching and thank you again because I reached a thousand subscribers, which I didn't think I would actually get there. Um, a thousand is something, it's not zero, it's not one, but it's one thousand and it makes me feel special. Feel special! Twice, I love that song. So good. Anyways, as at the point, thank you guys for everything and subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you want to see something else in the future. Probably post again because I'm bored sometimes and college sucks, it really sucks. Calculus 3 is eating my ass and I'm only 18, a third year student, please. Don't do this to me. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Bye. Too much thing going on.